my faceless Instagram account has over 140,000 followers. But recently, my reels and posts haven't been doing so well. Most of them seem to get stuck after getting just a few thousand views or impressions. So in this video, I'm gonna give my full effort to creating a new Instagram reel. Let's put my methods to the test and see if we can crack at least 200,000 views, which would be the most I've ever gotten on this account. This is not gonna be one of those easy copy and paste videos just to get views. I've tried them all and trust me, most of them don't actually work. My method isn't easy, it does require some time and effort, but it actually works and I'm gonna prove it to you in this video. We're gonna go from finding the video to writing the script to sound to editing to captions, but first we need a new strategy. This is my Instagram account where I make motivational content. I chose this niche because a few years ago, I noticed that this minimalist black and white style content started to go viral. You've probably seen it yourself over the last few years because today, it seems like everyone is using this style of content and it's starting to get repetitive as fuck. So anyways, this niche seemed like it had a lot of potential, so I got in. You'll notice that most of the posts on my account are not reels. That is because we were seeing more success from normal static posts early on. This post got 100,000 likes and an insane amount of shares and saves. And this post got 133,000 likes and even more engagement. But around six months ago, all of that changed. I noticed that Instagram started heavily promoting reels and my simple static posts weren't getting nearly as much reach as they were before. I believe that this is because Instagram sees how close TikTok is to passing them and they realize that they need to make their content on their platform more engaging. While that might make sense for their business model, it's forcing a lot of creators like me to adapt to video content in order to survive. Who figured that Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection would end up applying to the digital world as well. As a content creator, you either evolve or you become extinct like that. So even though my old method helped me go viral and get likes before, it's clearly not as effective anymore. And since the reels that I've been uploading weren't working at all, I obviously needed a new strategy. So I'm gonna go do some research to find out what's working on Instagram reels right now, but I'll be back soon. After seven hours of serious research and hundreds of Instagram models later, here's the new plan of attack. We're gonna start here. Skipping this first step was the first mistake that I made in my old videos. And if you can't make an Instagram reel go viral, then it's probably what you're missing as well. No matter how well you script or edit, if you have a bad video idea to begin with, you're never gonna go viral. For example, Making a viral video about Game of Thrones right now would be drastically harder than making a viral video about Squid Game. Just keep an eye out for trends within your niche, or even better, implement a trend that is working in another niche and bring it into your niche. I realized that people in my niche were into things like success, goals, and habits. And I saw a few videos in my niche who were already doing well on success, so I figured it would be a good topic idea. I searched on Instagram and Pinterest for some good inspiration using goals as a hashtag and eventually stumbled upon a bunch of interesting visuals. Not gonna lie, this visual actually made me contemplate my life a little bit. First, I thought about how much time and energy I've been wasting on bad habits and not prioritizing my goals. And then I realized that this could actually be a great video topic. And since I had just seen another video going viral in my niche with this concept, I figured that it would be perfect to roll with since it would likely check off all the boxes on my viral Instagram checklist. It's definitely something that people will save for later, and it's also something that people will share to their story. I'll show you how we can check off the rest of these in a bit. For the storyboarding, I figured that I could just move the camera from left to right, since people usually read in the F-shaped pattern. Your eyes go from one to two to three to four, and they scan from left to right. Unlike this example from Pinterest, I could show some specific examples of bad habits. So I added some common bad habits to represent the leaks in the pipe in the video. Next, I needed to figure out how I would script this. So I used an AI voice at the beginning that would simply say, this is why you feel stuck in life lately. To make that, I just went over to Eleven Labs and used the voice named Adam. It's been going viral for a few months now and at this point it kind of feels like a friend to a lot of us and that definitely helps with retention. Choosing a trendy song is crucial if you're not going to have a scripted video. Some good ones right now are these on the screen.
Scream. So I went with Monaco by Bad Bunny. You should also be thinking about sound effects, but that comes more with editing. Which reminds me, I actually have no idea how to edit a video like this, but don't worry, I got you. I spent two days researching trying to find editors who could edit videos like these for cheap, and I posted a list of them below this in the description for free. None of them know that I'm doing this, so they're gonna be totally confused when you guys start hitting them up like wildfire. But yeah, basically I found an editor who could bring this concept to life for just $20. I wrote a huge paragraph describing exactly what I was looking for, and then he said, I waited for a few days and actually kind of forgot that all this was happening, but then my guy hit me up out of nowhere with this video. This is why you feel stuck in life lately. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Why the fuck is video games on this list of bad habits? But before you unsubscribe, just hear me out. Do I actually think that video games is a bad habit? Of course not. I love nothing more than getting some dubs in Fortnite with the boys. So then why would I add it to this list? Well, it's because that I know that my gamers out there are going to be commenting up a storm when they see this. And I know that those comments will ultimately help the algorithm and check off another box on our viral checklist. So remember, when you get people arguing in the comments, it's actually a really good thing for your account. And now that we have a good hook and quality editing, we can check these off as well. So finally, we're ready. We upload the video and then we wait. It's been seven days after I released that reel and I only have 75,000 views. All that effort for just 75,000 views? Maybe I'm losing the touch. Maybe there's no real viral formula on Instagram. Maybe it's because my account is dead or shadow banned. Shit, I'm gonna be broke. I should probably move back into my mom's basement. So how does that make you feel? Well, I kind of feel like a loser. You know, nobody's validating my creativity on social media anymore. I thought I was better at this. Have you considered other career paths? I mean, when I was five, I kind of wanted to be an astronaut. Oh, honey, if you can't figure out how to make an Instagram post go viral, I definitely wouldn't trust you with a fucking spaceship. Wait a sec. I just remembered that all my viral Instagram posts usually take a little bit of time before they take off. I'm actually gonna close my phone and check back in a week because this isn't healthy. It's officially been 30 days since I published that reel, so did the video get 200,000 views or not? Well, no it did not. because it actually got over 1 million views. After all that research, scripting, and editing, the new formula worked. Engagement spiked around day 10 and stayed hot for about a week after. I was even able to 5x my reach on some of my static posts too, just by applying that viral checklist. This goes to show that you can completely revive an account with just a little bit of strategic effort. So that's the new viral formula. And lucky for me, instead of having to become an astronaut, I'm gonna try implementing a brand new monetization strategy on this account. So make Make sure you stick around to see that in the future.